We've created a short video to show you how to configure a pendant data logger for a what's called a triggered start or a coupler start. Basically there's a magnet that's inside of that pendant coupler that you can use to trigger start that data logger. Any magnet would do that, uh, but the coupler is convenient. You can put it in your pocket, take it out in the field, and use it to trigger start that device. This works the same for all of the pendants. So I have a pendant, a UA00264 pendant light temp light attached to my optic base station. This would work with a shuttle uh, being used as a base station or uh, with the pendant alone base station, the base you want. So we're going to go into the launch screen for this logger. And we can see here, here's our logger. Uh, we're going to set a very short logging interval so we can capture some data. Uh, let's go to 10 seconds. And you can see under start logging, we can start it now at interval, which means at the next 10 second interval. Uh, and with a delayed start, which is on date and time, or to use the coupler. So we want to use the coupler for this. Keep in mind that the coupler start only works with the coupler when it's detached from the base station or the shuttle. It will not work as it's connected to either one of those devices. So let's click on coupler start. And now uh, the logger is awaiting that coupler start and we can confirm that by going to the status screen so device status or click on the status button and you can see right here under current status awaiting coupler start and here's an image of a logger that's awaiting that coupler start we'll see the OK light flash every eight seconds or so I, it's a little bit grainy but I have the light turned down so you can see that OK light flashing so about every eight seconds and that's telling us it is indeed awaiting that coupler start event. When you're doing the coupler start it's important that the coupler is removed from the base station or the shuttle and just used as a coupler alone. The reason we do it that way is because think about it if you if we allowed you to use it on the base station as soon as you remove the logger from the coupler on the base station it would trigger it and start it logging. So that's why we did it so that it has to be disconnected from the from the base station of the shuttle in order for the coupler to be used for a coupler start or a triggered start event. Here we have our base station with the coupler and the logger flashing every eight seconds. We're going to remove the, the coupler from the base station in order to trigger start or coupler start this logger. So we're going to set the base station aside. And you can see on the coupler, on the logger end, there's a magnet on the right-hand side, and we're going to slide this in and hold it there for about three seconds. And when we pull it out, you'll see a burst flash on the LED. See that? And that tells us that that was successful. And now that LED is flashing every four seconds instead of every eight seconds. And we'll zoom in on this to show it to you. Here we can see now we're flashing every eight every four seconds instead of every eight seconds telling us that the logger is indeed logging. We're going to log some data and then we're going to read it out and I will show you how to um, look at the data to see when that trigger start happened. We deployed our logger for a period of time outdoors and now we're reading it out. We have it in our um, base station with the coupler attached and you can see in the internal events you can see when it was started, again, it was started right at the beginning of the deployment, obviously, because it doesn't start logging until we actually start it. And then we can see when the coupler was attached, when we went to read out the data, when our USB host was connected, and when we stopped it. So we're going to plot that data. There's our data. And here's all our internal events. Again, they will be logged. The started is the, our coupler start. And it, obviously, that coincides with the first data point because uh, it wasn't logging until we actually did that coupler start. So, um, and you can see over here our coupler attached, our host connected, and our stopped events right here. 